Kobani under fire. It's been a month since the IS fighters began a push for this Kurdish city in northern Syria along the border with Turkey. Turkish tanks and troops have been watching and doing very little else. There have been more fighting in Kobani today. We can hear from here, about a kilometer away, uh, the sound of small and heavy arms fire in the city. The Kurdish guerrillas there who are defending the city, they are saying that they have driven away IS fighters from most of the city and the IS are only resisting in two pockets. On our mobile phone, we dialed the Turkish number of one of the top commanders of the Kurdish fighters inside Kobani. Baharin is a 32-year-old woman in charge of leading the defense of the eastern part of the city. She says they have driven the ISIS fighters from most of the city. Victory is in her sight. I cannot say we will push them out in a day or two. But very soon, they will not be able to stay. Her optimism is shared by many Kurdish refugees from Kobani, watching and occasionally getting excited here on the hilltop overlooking their hometown. Many here believe they may soon be able to go back. But injured fighters are still arriving at hospitals in Turkey. And for some, it's already too late. Like this mother mourning her son buried in this desolate cemetery. Kasrunaji, BBC, on the Turkish-Syrian border.